MSN Messenger. Like, that was the very <laughs> first thing. That was the, that was the original social media, right? And they were easier days. Uh, yeah, if somebody asks you to send a photograph of yourself on MSN Messenger, sorry, I don't have a scanner. Right, it was simpler <laughs> times. You never had kids becoming image obsessed because only about 12 photographs of you existed in the 90s. You're not going to send one of them to a girl you're talking to online. Uh, this is me and my dad on a pedalo in Mallorca. <laughs> An hour goes by, only 17% of the photograph has downloaded down the screen. <laughs> Trying to keep the conversation going whilst looking at the top 17% of you and your da. Just don't. <laughs> your wee plastic tube round your neck where you kept your potatoes. Just... <laughs> I'll send the rest later. My mum has to use the house phone. It was never designed as a habitat where relationships could grow, the internet, right? You get all these wee dweebs. If they fancy somebody, they can just click like on a few of their pictures or send a direct message. And that is what creates a generation of these wee horned up sex gremlins, these fucking apprentice rapists who are being created because they have never handled rejection face to face. They have never received a knockback from point blank range. Right? They've never felt the emotions walking up to the girl that you fancy in a school disco, feeling your heart bursting through your Sergio Tashini polo shirt. <laughs> I don't even fucking clutch her here. It's bursting right through. Your cheap, shitty spar hair gel starts running into your eyes as you're sweating. Your mouth's dry, there's a cold bit of sweat going down your spine. You feel it trickle right into your arse crack as you're advancing on the potential love of your life. And you knew you had fucked it up as soon as you arrived there. The way you were presenting yourself, you knew you had fucked it. But before you knew it, the words were leaving your mouth. Would you get off with me? would slow down. You would hear yourself saying the words. <laughs> Hanging in there for the slight chance that she'll say yes, and it was always no. <laughs> and it was painful, it was humiliating, it crushed you, but you had faced a fear. You, you never called her a bitch. You respected her decision. You respected yourself. You had conquered the fear. You were getting back in the game. Would any of your friends get off with me? <laughs> you were rising from the ashes like a phoenix here. Listen, if you hear of anybody who wants to get off with me, just spread the word. Big Kev's in the corner, eating a Freddo, drinking a Capri Sun, looking for love. That. Fuck social media. It's time. The time is up. It's fucking destroying people's lives. Fuck it, right? We need a revolution. Right? Or they at least need to stop calling it social media, in my opinion. Because there's nothing social about it. Right? You don't want to socialise in these places. If, if Facebook... Hey, right, exactly. If, if Facebook was a pub, you would probably have a look around and go, it's full of pricks in here. Let's go somewhere else. Right? Simple as that. As soon as you, as soon as you view it in those terms, the illusion disappears, and it's a lot more straightforward to disconnect. If your Facebook page was a pub, would you sit in a pub? A guy you went to school with trying to sell Herbalife, would you sit in that fucking pub? <laughs> your second cousin who wants to be a blogger and she can only speak to people in inspirational quotations. Would you sit in that fucking pub? Oh, guys, I just believe that yesterday is history and tomorrow is a mystery, you know? <laughs> I really believe that. Isn't that such a nice thing to believe? You'd get a fucking jerry can full of petrol and go back and torch that pub. <laughs> 
You're a guy you work beside whose grand died years ago and he mentions it every time he needs a few likes. No, he's sick, fuck, no. Just having a sad day today, guys. I'm having a really sad day. Uh, I'm just thinking of you, Gran. Uh, I know you're up there, Gran. Hooring out your dead Gran for attention. <laughs> hey, the lowest of the low here. Hey, I know. Just, I know that sounds a bit harsh, but fuck these people. Hey, it's... <laughs> Gran, uh, I know you're up there, and uh, every day is another day closer to seeing your face again, Gran. <laughs> And I just want to say, Gran, that I love you and miss you. And I know you're looking down on me, Gran. And I know you're proud of me and everything I'm doing. And I'm so proud of you. And I just, like, until I see your face again, Gran, I just want to say I love you, Gran. <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook, if you're like, well, mate, your Gran never knew how to turn the fucking volume up on the telly. <laughs> when she was alive. She never knew how to put the central heating on. But think she's died, went up to heaven, somebody's presented her with an iPad upon arrival. <laughs> think your gran's done an IT course. Think there's courses in heaven to pass the time since it is eternity. Oh, fuck it, I'll do a six-week IT course. Think your gran is asking St. Peter for the Wi-Fi password <laughs> up in heaven. St. Peter, that's on the wall, sweetheart. Paradise, the S is a five. <laughs> fuck you and fuck your grand mate. <laughs> Give me a quid or you're getting stabbed. Just you.